guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to show you all the working principle of sr flip flop and verified strut table on tinkercad as we all know today we are, our topic is sr flip flop so this is the circuit of sr flip flop on tinkercad now let me explain you all what is this circuit all about first of all this is nand based sr flip flop so we have used quad nand ic which is 7400 we have taken a power supply we have taken a switch we will need here three inputs so we have taken three switches that is for one for s one for r and one for clock so here first of all we will connect all the terminals of switch with the power supply with positive from positive of power supply then we will connect the positive of breadboard and same the negative of breadboard then we will connect the power and ground of ic that is from positive we will connect 14th pin of ic and from 7th pin we will connect to the negative now let's start making the circuit first of all our first two switches are s and r the third one we have considered it as clock so first of all the input the s the input s will go to the first pin of ic and clock to the second pin and uh, the same clock goes to the fourth pin as well now the output from the third pin of ic is again sent to ninth pin of input and the input r is sent to fifth pin which is nanded with the clock and the output is taken from the sixth pin which goes as input to twelfth pin now the output of the of these two of 9 10 is taken from eighth pin which is connected to a bulb which is considered as q and the same the output from 12th and 13th pin is taken from pin 11 which is connected to q bar which is connected to a bulb which is considered as q bar now there is a cross coupling that is the output from 8 is sent as input to the pin 13 and the output from pin pin 10 is sent to pin 9 i will share the pin diagram in i will share the link of the pin diagram in the description for your better understanding now you can see our circuit is almost ready now how does this work let's see first of all let's start simulation now both our sr and clock is zero we know when clock is zero there will be no change in the output neither in q nor in q bar so first of all we need to turn on the clock which is to be kept on throughout the process to make changes now when we have both s and r as zero it is known as memory state that is it holds the previous memory here previous memory was zero so in both the cases q and q bar is zero now let's make q1 q1 is known as reset state what do we mean by reset state it means that q is made to be zero no matter what is the present state and hence we can see here the bulb q bar is glowing and q is turned off now when we turn off r we can see q bar is still glowing that is we can see both s and r is zero so it proves the memory state when both the inputs are zero we can see the previous memory is held so here q bar is glowing now next move on to the next state that is s is 1 and r is 0 so that is known as set state that is q is changed to 1 that is q will glow and q bar will be turned off as we all know because q bar is the complement of q and now when we make it 0 0 again we can still see q glowing q bar turned off it is verifying the memory state of sr flip flop now in the last state when we turn both s and r on 
we can see both q and q bar glowing which is which is not possible because q bar is the complement of q so both cannot be same at a moment so hence we know this is invalid state and now when we turn both to zero that is memory state in for this case memory state is also not verified because we can see here only q glowing and q bar turned off which should be both glowing because previous state was both glowing so here also it is invalid thank you that's it for today thank you all for watching till and stay tuned for more informative and interesting videos thank you